Chapter 7.2, we're looking at two variable linear systems. We're going to use methods of elimination to solve systems of linear equations, and we're going to use systems of linear equations in two variables to model and solve real life problems. So let's try example one, solving a system of equation by elimination. So when we're solving by elimination, when we add the equations together, we should have a variable that disappears. So in this case, we notice that our y values will disappear as soon as we add them together. So when we add them together, we get 8x, our y's cancel, and we get 16. Then we could solve for x. We find that x equals 2. Then what we can do is we plug it back into the original equation, one of our original equations, to solve for the y value. So I'll plug it into the top. Either one works. So 3 times 2 plus 2y equals 4, or 6 plus 2y equals 4, subtract 6. We find that 2y equals negative 2 divided by 2. We find that y equals negative 1. So the solution to our system is 2, negative 1. Again, what this means is if we were to graph both of these lines, we would find that it, it would intersect at the point 2, negative 1. Now you can always check to make sure this is correct. And so remember to check. You take the order pair and plug it into both equations and see to just verify that it's true. So again, this is our x and y. So we'll plug it into equation 1 first. So 3 times 2 plus 2 times negative 1, does that equal 4? 6 minus 2 equal 4. 4 does, in fact, equal 4, so that is good. It works in equation 1. And then we'll check in an equation 2. 5 times 2 minus 2 times negative 1, does that equal 12? So 10 plus 2? Yes. 12 does equal 12, so therefore this is correct. So try this example here. Solve the system of equations by, not substitution, but by elimination. If you tried this equation, you would have gotten a fraction. You would have gotten 3 fourths and 5 halves. And then, of course, you could plug it in to check to make sure that it is true. Let's try example two, solving a system of equations by elimination. So the first one was like, you know, like a level one, you didn't have to multiply. Now looking at this second example, we don't have, if we were to add it together, one variable will not cancel out. But we can change it, so we can. We have 2x and 5x, 4y and y. So if we multiply the second equation by positive four, then I'll be able to cancel it out. So I'm gonna multiply equation two by positive four. So that'll be, be, that will become 20x plus 4y equals negative 4. So make sure you distribute to every single term. And then we'll rewrite equation number 1 just as it is. Then we can add the equations together because our y's will cancel. So we have 22x equals negative 11 divided by 22. x equals negative 1 half. So now we need to find our y value, so we're going to plug it back in into one of the equations. So I'll plug it in to x as a half. So equation 1 is nicer because there's a 2 there. So 2 times the x value of negative a half minus 4y equals negative 7. So 2 times negative a half is negative 1. Add 1 to both sides. We find that negative 4y equals negative 6 divided by negative 4. So we find that y equals 3 halves. So the solution of our system is negative a half, 3 halves. And of course, we could plug it in to check to make sure this is true. So we can check. 2 times negative a half minus 4 times 3 halves, does that equal negative 7? So this is negative 1, and then 12 over 2 is minus 6. So negative 7 does equal negative 7. Then we plug it into the second equation. 5 times negative a half plus 3 halves equals negative 1. Is that true? So this is negative 5 halves plus 3 halves. 
which is negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1, does equal negative 1. So this is true. So try example 2 on your own. Solve the system of equations by elimination. Try this example out, you would find that the answer is 4, 3. Try one more example. Solving a system of linear equations. So in this case, we have 5 halves and 3, oh, 5x plus 3y equals 9 and 2x minus 4y equals 14. So in this case, um, we find that uh, we, don't, we have to multiply to both equations in order to make this work. So um, one thing we can do, just as an option, is I can solve for y. So what I could do is I can multiply the top equation by a 4, so I'm going to cancel out the y's, and multiply the bottom equation by a 3. So that way I get 12y in order to cancel them out. So distribute 20x plus 12y equals 36 for equation 1, new equation 1. The bottom equation becomes 6x minus 12i, uh, 12y, and 3 times 14 is 42. So we add it together, we get 26x equals 78. Then let's divide by 26. So x uh, goes into, let's see, x equals 78 over 26. Uh, so it goes in three times perfectly. Awesome. And then we are going to solve for y by plugging into one of the equations. So I'll plug it in to the top equation. So 5, the original. So I'm going to plug it into the original. Either one works. It's just the smaller numbers are nicer, right? So plug it into the original equation 1. 5 times 3 plus 3y equals 9. 15 plus 3y equals 9. Subtract 15 from both sides. Get 3y equals negative 6 divided by 3. We find that y equals a negative 2. So our solution to the system is 3, negative 2. And of course, you could plug it in to check. So try this example here. Solve the system of linear equations by elimination. If you tried it out, this solution would be 3, negative 1.